Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Happy Friday before the chaos of the weekend. Although if you're anything like me, chaos is already upon you. Ooh, pause that. It has been chaos around here anyway. I've been like working my tail off because uh, we're hosting. We're hosting Christmas. Not like entirely, um, but Christmas morning. We kind of have like a split family Christmas thing. So on, what is it? Christmas Eve, my family comes here. My side of the family comes here. We'll do, they'll spend the night. We'll do Christmas morning together. And then they leave in the afternoon. And then at dinner, we're going to my husband's side of things to his family's Christmas. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super jazzed. I'm really jazzed to see my niece because I, I mean, my brother too and his wife, but I haven't seen my niece in a while. I guess I haven't seen any of them for a while, but I don't know, there's just something extra special about seeing the kids, you know what I mean, on Christmas. That's what Christmas is all about. Here's what we're doing today. If you guys got my email, or if you're lurking, um, we are doing this Goodwill Blue Box box. Hey, Kirsten, welcome in. Um, and so I ordered this a few weeks ago and have just been really busy. You guys have, if you've been following me in the channel, you know that my activity has gone way down in the past two months or so, maybe two or three months. I just, I've been busy with other stuff. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And I haven't been making time for my hobbies and I'm trying to do it again. And it's going to be a lot of fun. If you did not, hey, Perla, welcome in. If you didn't get my email, I did send out an email, like a happy holiday email. Um, if you want to be on my email list, send me an email to the, actually, it's right here. How do you point? There we go. How do I point? Okay, there. <laughs> In that corner. This is so awkward. And it's also pinned at the top of the chat. Um, it's just jewelryetcchannel at gmail.com. I just send out basically notifications when I am having a live show. Usually if I schedule it in advance and it's not something I'm doing spontaneously, which happens a lot, quite honestly. But in any case, um, I, every once in a while, just send out a random email to say hello, see how everyone is. And uh, I sent one out for just like a Christmas update, but just letting you guys know that I am going to be keeping jewelry in general as part of the channel, but I'm going to be incorporating more of like the arts and crafts side of things. I've been doing it here and there. You can go on my channel. You'll see some paintings that I've done. We did one night, which was fun for me and I might have to do it again. I did a painting in a night. It was just a one, like just a live painting. And then it was auctioned off at the end. You could bid in the comments. I've been working on a lot of, I'll show you the one that I have down here. I've been working on a lot of these. <laughs> it's huge. Um, this one's going to be for my niece. I actually, I've made a couple of them. I made enough. This was going to be for my other niece. And then I switched it up. And now this one's going to be for the other niece. And then I made something else for the first one, just because this one's really big. My other niece is only a year old. So we made, well, not we, I made this. Um, and I've just been working on a bunch of these. I've made a few things for my kids. I finished one last night. I got two more to finish ugh, before Christmas. Wish me luck. But I do want to do more jewelry. Oh, let's, let me open this. I want to do more jewelry, like making jewelry and bringing you guys along for that process. So with that said, it's kind of exciting doing a blue box now because I'm not just, look at this. Those are pretty right off the bat. They're like purple AB beads. Um, I'm no longer just like, okay, what can I resell? What can I not resell? You get checked in the craft lot. You get checked in the resale pile whatever now it's like okay well now i'm looking at it with my own you know my eyes of a crafter i guess you could say so some of these things i'm going to set aside for crafting purposes when i'll get to it i don't know because if you're a crafter like me and i don't mean like and i just mean like if you are like me you hoard crafting supplies and may or may not use them ever <laughs> frankly these are super pretty are these glass or I think they're glass it's kind of hard to tell if they're glass or plastic but I do like these I mean are you guys gonna get grossed out if I do the tooth test it's always the tooth test do you guys click on your teeth I know I've asked this before but only so many people will will admit to it 
Okay, they're glass. <laughs> I'm gonna save these for me. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna do something with that. I just think they're really, those are really pretty. I don't know how long I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna try to get through this box maybe somewhat quickly only because, oh look, wait. Oh, it's, this is magnetic, okay. I thought this was one of those magnetic clasps. Um, I have so much to do. I've got a lot of cleaning to do before Christmas Eve. I totally do. See, that's like the curse of being a crafter. And then when you sell jewelry on top of it, Kirsten, you're probably in as bad a shape as me as far as just like stuff everywhere. Um, laugh every day, love beyond. That's a little tree of life there. This is cute. It's not my taste, but it's in good shape. Let's see if it's a, it's got a little an earring back stuck to it. That's fun. I don't know if I should dump this on the table or not. Sometimes I get these things and the magnets are super grody. This one is, do people say grody anymore? I like the little animal print fuzzy one. I don't know. We'll do $2 on this if anybody's watching this later and wants it. If you want anything, just email me with a timestamp and a description is usually the best way to do it. Or a screenshot. See this, that right there. Should I dump? Maybe I'll just dump it. Just dump it out. We'll do maybe a few pieces at a time. That's the best way to do this. I don't, it looks like they've set everything kind of on top of each other, and I don't want to grab in case I'm going to tangle everything. It's actually not very tangled. Oh, that is cute. I like that. We'll do it. We'll do it this way. All right, let's see. All right, this is basically trash. This is just like a bunch of rubber bands, but oh my gosh, look at that little taco. That would be cute as a stuffy, wouldn't it? A little taco stuffy? Oh my gosh, I, I'm i going to do it. I've had all these ideas. <laughs> I was thinking about Pop-Tarts this morning. That would be cute to have a Pop-Tart stuffy. I don't know what to use this for, but I really like this little, oh, sorry, little flower earring. Again, with the grodiness, that back is gnarly, but the front is super pretty. So I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if I set that, broke that back off and maybe set it into like a polymer clay piece or something. If I could find that other one, those would be cute earrings. What are you? It just, it looks like stone, but I don't know. I think it might just be glass. I don't know what the heck that is. It's a matte finish, whatever it is. It almost looks like a piece of matte finish garnet, but it doesn't have, it's cool, but it doesn't have a weight to it like a stone would. Maybe it's just acrylic. I don't know. That's weird. I am not into this. This does not float my boat at all. It's kind of big for a bracelet. I could probably wear this one as an anklet, me personally, but I have, I don't know. I want to say I have small wrists, but like but compared to like Kirsten, I do not, but for my bone structure, I guess. I'm like six and a half, six and a quarter. This feels a little bit like maybe closer to an eight. I just don't know what it is material wise. Huh, I don't know. Not to call you out or anything. <laughs> you do have, you have beautiful dainty hands. By the way, did you sell that? Uh, the, the dragon's breath ring last night, Kirsten? I've been eyeballing that thing forever since I saw it on your hand. But if I got it, I would definitely need to get it resized, but probably not much. And I do have a ring resizer. I just don't know. It's going to leave marks. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> well, that's good for the person who got it. This is just a wearable piece. I'm just going to throw it over here. I guess what I'll do is make like, I always do that. Here's a secret. Here's a secret, you guys. I always separate things into wearable, not terrible, and then into crafting lots. And then I put it in a box and I intend to list it and then I never actually list it. So there you go, there's a secret. I still have tons of crafting jewelry, which suited me well actually, because when I started doing all the crafting stuff on my own, uh, I had those boxes sitting aside and I pulled quite a few things from there. This is a plastic pearl, so I'm gonna say, and it, okay, look, it's a little grody at the end there. We need a trash pile too. We'll put him with the taco, the trash taco. I want to save the taco though, only because I want to remember that I want to make a taco stuffy. And 
also because it's so stinking adorbs. Let's set him aside. Okay, wait, we say we say something. Who who day? Is that a saints thing? Isn't that like who day say is gonna beat them saints? That's what it is, right? I don't watch sports at all, but I had friends and family that lived in New Orleans. That's the only reason I know that. Also, that looks orange. Isn't their color black and gold for the Saints? Huh. We're going to put that over there. Oh, that's pretty. I, I'm assuming that's just acrylic just because of the size. Aw. Bummer. Okay, we got a... What is that logo? Hey, Lee. Welcome in. See, Haley's a crafter too. So much the trailer got thrown away after the storm. Oh, unfortunately, but oh, that is a bummer. 15 big garage tubs full of jewelry. Wow, I do not have that. Can you guys see what that is? It doesn't really matter. This is just gonna go in the crafting lot, but I'm curious. This cannot possibly be real mother pearl. Just, I don't think it would be that thick on the side. I guess we'll put that with the who day. This wants to be sterling, but is most assuredly not. I see no marks. Yeah, it's kind of seen better days. So we'll go ahead and put that in the crafting lot. This, I don't want to have anything to do with this. Oh, someone said, I'm looking around my phone. Like, where's my phone? It's, you guys are viewing life through it. Um, I do this is just an extender, but I have a strong, I don't know, I, I hate barrel class. I'm just going to throw in a couple of, I do not like barrel class. This actually, no, it looks too shiny. Are you plated? No, probably not. Put that aside in case we find it's meat. Even if I do like hang on to earrings for resale, I, or like I don't want, or I throw them in a craft, craft lot or something like that. I like to find the mates and hook them together. So if anybody is crafting with it and they need the pair, they got it. <laughs> I did make one time and they sold really fast. I made bacon and egg earrings. I had a, an order. This is something else. I am, my intention is when I do craft things that I will not be taking commissions necessarily. I might make exceptions, <clears throat> excuse me. But um, I find that taking commissions smothers my creativity and I start hating art again and I stop. I think that's part of the problem as to why I haven't been doing it as much this past year, because mostly I've been like doing commissions and although I enjoy that process and, you know, I'm happy when I get a result, it's very different than just creating for, for funsies. But in any case, all that to say, I had someone message me, this was a couple of years ago, I was making these polymer clay earrings. And I had one side was eggs and the other side was like two pieces of bacon that crossed over. And I had this commission for, I made like five different pairs for someone who commissioned them. And then I made some for sale. And I think it was, I want to say it was Moonstone Mama's channel that I sold them. And they sold right away. I sold these and then I had some coffee cups that sold. And then actually, let me set that over there. And then, um, what else did I have? I can't. Oh, coffee beans. Those never sold. Nobody wanted coffee beans. This is cute. That's a very pretty emerald green, like spot on emerald green. Definitely just glass or maybe even plastic, but that might be a fun holiday one, right? For Christmas. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. I have a, uh, like a CZ tennis bracelet, but I think the clasp broke. Unfortunately, here's a little hope pendant. Or not pendant. What do you call that? What do you call it when it's on a bracelet? You just refer to the whole thing as a bracelet, I guess. Oh, I didn't see your comment, Haley. Big garage tubs is what it's all in now. Wow. A couple here at the house. The rest in storage is separated into craft wearable. Okay, sterling and designer. You have... I, see, I don't have that much like of anything that would constitute a tote. I think I could fit all of it into one tote. We take commissions or have to do something, then you feel like the, the pressure instead of doing for fun, definitely. Hey, Kristen D, welcome in. I I would agree with that. Jonathan, 
commission. Speaking of commissions, did you, I never, you never told me if you got the painting. I'm assuming you did. Jonathan had ordered this epic bear painting. <laughs> and, uh, and that was fun to do. That was actually the last commission I did um, before I just like shut down artistically and just started doing working stuff around here. I got really into goats for a while. Like I was planning on getting a goat, but I think I'm going to put it off again. I've been on the fence for like two or three years now about getting a goat. I still haven't done it. And I think I'm about to put it on the back burner again. Yeah, we're just going to throw that right into that lot. Oh my God, I love my bear. <laughs> Good. I mean, if you would like to, I wouldn't be upset about it. I And I had fun painting that one. That was nice because it was a, a change of pace. I had been doing paintings here and there, making things here and there. But um, I hadn't done a painting in a while. And you know what? I still have never finished my mermaid painting too, if you guys had seen that one. I had a... Uh, mermaid painting it's pretty big and i never finished it i worked i've done it two lives while i was just working on it and the first live is like was fine whatever the second live i'm like i don't like its face i think its face is too dark so i tried to paint over it and i made it even darker accidentally so now i feel like it needs to be redone again <gasps> what oh my gosh there's something in it wait what does it say uh it was just a patent number <gasps> How cute! It says, oh, look, this, oh, this is a bunch. I've never seen this before. Whoa, I've seen envelope, char uh, not charms, necklaces, pendants. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, look at that. It's got a little face on it. Genuine leather. Message connection. Connection. All right, what does it say? Let's see. These. I'm assuming these are just stainless. It doesn't actually have a, wait, no, it just says 2008. It doesn't have a metal mark on it, but they, they seem like they're probably stainless. They remind me of like tiny license plates. Okay. We have, I love you. That's adorable. We have live in the moment. And then we have, and that's so cute. I'll do five bucks on this if anybody wants it. It seems to actually be in pretty good shape. I'll measure it in a second. Oh, and follow your dreams. Oh, that feels very appropriate to me right now. And this, this actually is like really, it has good, like, I don't know what to call it, closure on it. It's not flopping open or anything. And I really like that little face on the back. That's cute. Look, look, Kristen, I got my measuring tape. Okay, this one is, <laughs> uh, let's see, hold on, I didn't get this thing out. Elizabeth, where the heck have you been? Queen Bean's here too, hey, welcome in. I'd like it for five, you got it. This one is, let's see, it looks like you can adjust to about six and a half-ish to about eight on the holes there. That is so cute. Um, I don't have my bags down here, Haley. Let me write this down though. So I don't lose track. Look at the broskies are in here together. What a day. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just set this aside. I guess I'll call it a bracelet. It's certainly not a, a watch necessarily. Cool. You got it, my dear. Thank you. Throw that over there. In my pants. Okay. Oh, look at all the love in the chat. What was the name? I. It doesn't have one. I know. How cute. It doesn't have one. If you want to do Google Lens or something, just tell me to, to hold it up and I'll do that. It just says 2008 on the back right there and then 16 genuine leather and then oh maybe this is it i guess message connection message connection i'm assuming that's the brand unless that's the brand well no that must be it obviously message makes sense tell me how much it's worth tell me if if i got a deal or if Haley got a deal here's another one of those connector things that i despise with all my name 
break the news softly to Burski that you agreed to sell me the Amethyst geode. <laughs> I kind of want to make, I kind of want to make crochet geodes. I was thinking about this this morning. I was looking at my Amethyst geodes. I have like, I've got two of them that are the bigger ones. If you guys don't know, you know, the ones that like stand on the ground, one's bigger than the other. The one they want is my favorite and ultra sparkly. That one's on my dresser. I have a dresser in my living room that holds games, game board games. And then I've got another one that sits next to my fireplace. And that one is the one I was staring at this morning. Here's another magnet guy. And was like, oh my gosh, that'd be kind of fun to crochet a geode. Like one that stood up. <laughs> It'd be really ridiculous. Elizabeth says, you can't fool me. I already own it. I'm staring at it right now. These are cool. I like these little, these things here. This is so nice, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You just like totally made my day. Cause I was like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's going to show up to this live right now. Um, I think Misty's live too. I didn't check before I started, but I think I remember her saying that she's going to go live. So if you're looking to just sit down and buy stuff, buy some jewelry, I think she's having a jewelry sale. Um, not that I'm trying to send you away. I swear I'm not. I want you all to stay here and find out the mystery that is this box with me right now. But I'm just letting you know. Or if you're like me, you like to auction hop. <gasps> Wait, what are you? JCM. JCM. Oh, dang. Darn. Okay, 120. Okay. All right. So why did I get excited about JCM? Because I've had that mark on 14 karat gold clasps before JCM. I still don't know what it stands for. But this is gold filled. So that's exciting too. It's hollow. I wonder if it's sterling underneath or not. Hmm. All right. Let's hope we can find the mate. I kind of dig these actually. I kind of like those hoops. I'm going to put this in the middle. The reason I'm leaving something in the middle is because I tend to like float off the screen. Gail, hey, welcome in. I'm just, this is just so I stay in place. Haley did good. Oh no, tell us. I don't care. Tell us. How much is one of those things new? Message connection. This thing is grody. I'm going to put this one in the meh lot. Wait, I'm mixing my meh lot and my not meh lot. Trash. Craft. Uh, what do we call this? I already forget. What is my... I already forget my phrase. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh, wearable, not terrible. There we go. There it is. Ooh, geez. What the heck are you? Oh, it's... Okay. Is this Dominican Republic? I can't even... Okay, the... when words are like this, it's hard. Let's see on the other side. Do we recognize this? What is this? Uh... Okay, it's Central D... Oh, Nicaragua. Interesting. We have some currency from Nicaragua. That's something I've never come across before. That's cool. My kids will be into that. They like looking at foreign coins. We got a keychain. Can't find them new. I'm still trying to figure out where they come from, but there's some on eBay for three to four times what she paid. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. That means if you get it and you're not into it, you can still resell it. So that's cool. Is this a, this is a magnet, isn't it? Did we discover that? Well, it wouldn't stick to that. Oh, it is. Nice. Check it out. I like these. I like finding these when I'm unboxing things because I can like use it as I go. I don't have one of those, you know, the magnets for, oh my gosh, I cannot pick you up. Like people have those magnets on a stick. I'm not that fancy. Hey, Ella's here. Where? Oh, man, you just snuck on in here, Ella. Welcome. Um, eh, This just looks like a little like earring for a little girl. We'll stick to the side. Sometimes just don't, you know, FYI, especially if it's pointy at the other end, don't just like set these aside if you're opening lots of jewelry because sometimes these are the pierce, the ones that they use to pierce a girl's ear, which are often 14 karat gold. And uh, even if you don't find a match, they're nice just to throw in your scrap pile. Um, if you've got one, which I feel like everybody should have a, a little stash of some precious metals. Why not? 
Okay, this is just stainless, I'm assuming. This thing's tangled on itself. Uh, do I see? I feel like I have so many chains, I just don't even want to bother with it. We're just going to put it in. Wearable, not terrible lot. Woo! That's satisfying. <clears throat> uh, I'll be keeping it. Okay, good. I like when people keep stuff too. These things, this like feels so slinky and lovely. Oh, ain't that cute? It's a little clip on earring of a little horsey. I wonder if my niece would like that. I got her like a box. I have this purple box that actually I got from Misty. That was a jewelry box. She sent it to me as a mystery lot of jewelry to unbox. And I just held on to it. It's just like a, <clears throat> I don't know. It's like a faux suede purple box, but my niece's favorite color is purple. And so I went through all the, you know, the, I was telling you guys earlier, I've got a lot of jewelry just sitting around that I was going to resell as a lot. Well, I went through it and found all of the most sparkly things. <laughs> and then I resized everything to her size. So I, one of the things I did, which is so freaking cute, is this sparkly, like, it's got like these pearl or like opalescent white pearl looking pieces and also these bright sparkly like clear rhinestones and it's a white house black market necklace <laughs> she's, she's two by the way so she's gonna have some name brand jewelry i redid some bracelets for her so i was checking to see if they, i had some pieces sitting around i know i do somewhere oh yeah here they are i'll show you this one this is just the the links that i took off but for a little girl who loves sparkle and pink and purple I mean, she's like girly to her core. So I made this one. You might not be able to tell. It's like an enamel, like a pearlescent enamel. Anyway, I'm hanging on to those in case they don't fit her. This I don't like. Oh, we're, we're hanging on to that. This is a cute little elephant. Just a little costume piece that has a little abalone in there. All right, we got lobster clasps. I'll keep those for me. We have this piece of paper. $10 if anybody wants it. I'll set it aside. We have, wouldn't that be awful if someone's like just tuning in and they've never been here before and they're like, is she seriously trying to sell a piece of trash for $10? What a horrible human being. Why does it say 11 on there? Huh. All right. So this just feels like it, I don't know. It feels like wood actually. I think it might be wood with enamel over it. It says Debbie Brooks. And it's patented, this design. Interesting. Debbie Brooks. I've never heard that name before. Pressureless metal was like a little extra savings account. Totes. I agree with that. Uh, should I look up Debbie Brooks? Does someone want to look up? Is anybody in an investigative mood and wants to look up Debbie Brooks and tell me if that's anything special? <laughs> Stand down, Jonathan. That paper's mine. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, really? Comped over 60 for this? Let me see if it even fits. Oh, it does fit my wrist. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I would never wear this. The rhinestones are just like glued on there. I can't believe it would be 60. And why? Why the 11 in there? The design is pretty though. I'm into squirrels. And y'all know I'm into sparkles. But I don't know. Interesting. All right. So this is cool. I don't, I'm not into this, but this little glass bead here is pretty. I'm hoping the light isn't washing everything out. It's kind of like an amethyst. Per Actually, you know what? It looks more like rotolite, rotolite garnet kind of color. Okay. Are we grimy or are we scuffed? The mysteries of life. I think it might just be grimy, but it's a pretty, it looks like a handmade glass earring. I'm going to save that for me. Didn't we do this already? Look. It's twins! Congratulations! All right, let's go for the next round. I think that was that pile. You know what's probably going to happen? As soon as this camera goes off, I'm going to just lift everything up and mix it back together and throw it back in the box. And that's where it will go indefinitely until I address it again. Months down the road. Okay, this one is eager to say hello, so let's do this. Okay, what the heck are you? What is happening? These are like very intriguing, actually. 
I think they're just plastic though, and they've got some wear on them, but they're they're different. They're kind of cool. All right, whatever. I'll just set that aside. Oh no, wait, no, let me put that back down. Mm hmm. You? Some like a lot of times I try to envision where did this jewelry come from. And I feel like a lot of times it's like one person's lot. Doesn't this look like the same person? Like this is someone's collection. You know what I mean? Or did the people at Goodwill go, oh, those look like they go together. Let's throw them in the same box. Or did they just get like a, you know, a donation all at once from one person and then just throw it in a box? Well, we know they didn't get thrown in a box. We all know that they probably went through it first. And then sent the junk out to us, right? Oh, 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 you guys. 100 for this one. It's a gold piece of paper that resembles a cigarette filter. Kind of. Wait, it unrolls. <gasps> gold tone paper scrap, 100. Buy it now. Rolled up. There you go. It's shiny. It might be real. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. We've got buttons turned into an earring. Not into it. Wait, who's leaving? Oh, bye, Elizabeth. Wait, hold up. She wants the paper. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, ben and Hito gotta go. Oh, Elizabeth. Pick up Hubby's daughter. Okay, well, yeah, you gotta get Hubby's daughter. I know. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate having to put on a bra for company? I know I do. <laughs> All right. This is super shiny on the back. Actually, I'm just going to throw that over there. Probably fell off an earring. I got a clamper. This looks like nothing special. No, no brand, name brand on it. Ooh. This box is looking rough so far. I swore these things off for a while, and then I just thought, you know, it's been a while. It's like an abusive relationship, you know? You keep going back to it, because when it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's bad. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Wait, Christmas is coming, Bursky, and I do love me some gold paper. <laughs> thanks for coming, Elizabeth. I'm happy to see you. All right, these are just plastic. I'll just put that in the pile too. And these, nothing, nothing special. Load those over there. We got some Christmas earrings. But they don't match though. Look, one is kind of silvery and this one's like a rose gold. It must have lost its tone on that one. Eh. Eh, you guys, I'm not too enthusiastic about this, which I hate because I feel like People don't want to hang around and watch because it's garbage. This is glass and this is ceramic, so it's kind of pretty. We'll see if we can find a mate for that one. We have a wood stretch bracelet with a giant lobster claw clasp and a key ring. So I guess if you don't like lanyards around your neck, you could wear it on your wrist, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> you you might want to be careful about that one, Jonathan. We got a lot of junk in here. <laughs> a couple of shoes, bread. Okay, I missed something there. What who? What is your sister breeding? What did I miss? What do we? <laughs> Elizabeth has some treasures. I know she's got some sweet lab or the rights over there. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not too thrilled on that one. We found the other one of that, but oh, uh, gosh, this is freaking cool, but it's very obviously not anything as special as I want. At a glance, I was like, oh my gosh, if that's turquoise and silver, I'm going to... I don't even know. Be super jazzed. This is actually very pretty, though. Interesting. It's three different pieces here, and they snap. This seems like a horrible idea for a bracelet, though. 
how are you ever, how, no one's going to want this. You can't do this with one hand. Right? Bye, Elizabeth. This is so cute, though. This is like faux Southwestern jewelry. See, these are bunching together. Well, no. Okay. No. Just, they need some straightening out, too. Oh, gosh. I want those clasps to be different. And I, or just one. Do we need three snaps? And then these are plastic. And then the glue is very obviously there. But gosh, that design, though. If this was real, this would be the money piece of the century. But it's not. It snaps. What is that? No one wants this. No one wants this, right? I'm just going to set this one aside because I'm angry at it. Yeah, but Haley, how are you going to put this on yourself? Three snaps. How are you doing that? And just for... Okay, well, it's not... It's not reactive, but I'm guarantee that's not sterling it looks like it though see it looks like the the pinch class which i feel might be better but like honestly i can't even i gotta wedge my little nail in there i'm gonna pop my nail off to get that thing off if you Haley, if you want it i will throw it in your bag i was talking about the frenchy dog in your profile picture and my pro oh She's a Boston Terrier, but I love Frenchies too. That is an expensive breed. Who knows? Maybe this thing's worth some money, but I just like, I'm mad at it. It's cool though. Well, yeah, I'll just give it to you. You'll appreciate it more than me. That's for sure. All right, next batch. Next batch. I'll trade you for a Frenchie puppy. <laughs> I... This is like up my alley, except I'm not sure about these. Are these, uh, what are they, like porcupine needles or something? Maybe. Or they may just be plastic. I don't know. Those had potential, but they're a little falling apart. But for seed beads, crafting. <gasps> oh, I think I got a glimpse of something 1928. Maybe. Maybe 1928. It's like. Oh, look, it's got the little flowers. Isn't that cute? That's got to be 1928. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we can find the meat to that. This is... This is Jeopardy. I'm just going to chuck that aside. Um, hmm. These are cute. I don't know if these are... They. What do you call them? Sometimes they, like, coat hematite. I kind of like those. I'm going to hang on to those. I like those beads. Ooh, here's another sparkly one. Oh, this is trash. It's not even nice trash like our gold paper. It was just trashy trash. This is pretty. I bet these ones glow. You guys, did you know? Fun story. And they do glow. Can you tell? Let's see. Ooh, oh no. Oh no, I made it angry. <laughs> I shouldn't have touched it. It was perfectly balanced until I upset it. Um, this, uh, what you do, girl? This light and that tape measure. Sorry about the wiggles. Sorry about the wiggles. Now I have to like move everything around again. Um, I keep them in my purse. These things live in my purse at all times, just in case I need them while I'm out and about, especially this guy for jewelry. These things are invaluable to have in your purse. Just FYI. Just saying. If you're a reseller and you don't mind looking weird, that's the way to go. This is very nice. These are glass. It reminds me of a J. Crew necklace I have. Oh, it's loft. Okay. Very similar. That is super pretty. This is wearable and sellable and gorgeous. And it's not even not terrible. It's really pretty. Oh man, I super duper like this one. I'm I'll put this one up for 15. If nobody wants it, I'm gonna I think I might wear this for the holidays. I think it's fabulous. I keep it needs to be like organized so it's going the right way. But we have such a this is like a blush there, con color. It's fantastic. This is kind of like a little clearish opalite. That 
are reactive, as we know. These remind me of like a citrine or like a yellow diamond kind of color. I think a very pale yellow. These are like a rhodolite garnet kind of color. Oh gosh, this is fab. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I love this. Let's see. Nine and a half on that one. So uh, what is that, 18, 19 inches? This is this is freaking fabulous. Okay, I'm uh, I'm just gonna set that over here because I love it. Next, Boston Jerry. Those breeds are still new to me. They are the best. But my sister's boyfriend bought her a female Frenchie a few years ago, and they got a boy and bred them once. Gave one to my dad. Man, I would totally. Isn't it awesome, Kristen? I would totally take a free Frenchie puppy. They're they're pricey. But they are so stinking cute, and they are—they have a lot of personality. So do Boston Terriers, though. We had—we've never had a full-bred Frenchie, but we had what they call a faux Frenchie, um, which was a Boston Terrier mixed with a French Bulldog. He was supposedly like seventy-five percent uh boston and 25 frenchie but he he looked more like a frenchie but he wasn't quite as stocky he was a little lankier and then we joked that he had this is kind of cool the metal's a little worn though i don't know i kind of i like it i like it but i don't like it enough to put a price on it but if you want to email me um we joked that he had the front legs of a boston terrier and the back legs of a french bulldog no the other way around French in the front, Boston in the back, because he like he was at an angle, like his butt was higher than his front. <laughs> so he, he was a funny little dog. That was Gur. And because um, we honestly, truth be told, I wanted a Frenchie, couldn't afford him. Those things are like a couple grand. This is cute. This is like the plastic that you melt together. I had a friend growing up whose mom made a of these things. That was like what she did. She was like a crafter person. W dub. Double dubs. I'm I'm gonna look these up. I don't know if these have any value to them. I've never I don't know. But I do wonder. I don't know. You're melting a lot of plastic together. I can't imagine that's a safe craft to safe hobby. This is pretty. This reminds me of like something Swarovski. Just how sparkly it is. It's got good sparkle. I just saw we have another one of these, I think. Yeah, look. Another one. Another Debbie Brooks. You guys, this one does not have patent pending on it. This one is prettier. This one I would wear. I like this one much more than this one. This is pretty. I'm not going to keep it, but I do like it. A lot. And those are like, I think they're, it's a picture of embroidered flowers, maybe? Do they look embroidered to you guys? I can't really tell with 100% certainty. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. We're going to look those ones up at the end to satisfy my curiosity. I still have half this box to go and I've been on for what, 45 minutes now? Something like that? Almost 45 minutes. So I don't know. I might have to save this, the rest of this for another time. But I do want to look up that Debbie Brooks thing. I could not pay someone to take these things, I feel like. Some of the Mother of Pearl stuff goes great, and some that are dyed do not sell for me at all. Even though they're in great condition and very pretty, as this one is, except for that right there. I, I lied. Just kidding. Okay. Moving along. What is this? Is this a hazelnut? Is this a necklace made of hazelnuts? What? Oh, cool. Thank you. Thanks, Haley. That's very helpful. I appreciate that. And we'll we'll be looking at it. After we dig through this last pile, I think this is going to be the last one for this video. We'll save the rest of the box for another day. Hopefully there's some extra yummy down at the bottom. This is possibly one of the tackiest things that I've come across in a box. I would never wear, wear these. These remind me of those Buckeye isn't that what they're called? They're like peanut butter and chocolate. But I think they're hazelnuts. In plastic. On a string. This must be like a kid. Like a kid made that for grandma or something. And grandma's like, oh, I love it. I'll wear it all the time. And then she wears it, you know, when the kid is around. Until the kid is too old to care anymore. 
and then it goes to Goodwill apparently. We have a fancy little K. Uh, looks like just some glued in little sparklies there. This is, I don't know, maybe that's stainless. It feels kind of light. These are magnet on it. Yeah. Actually, it's not sticking to this, it's sticking to that. It has, so the back looks like sterling, the front does not as much. But I do like to test everything just in case. I'll just throw this one to the side, test it later. Um, unless there's anybody that wants me to deal with it. Now, I don't have my testing kit downstairs right now. That's the only problem. I'd have to go away to get it. All right, this is a tangled catastrophe. This is not marked, so it makes me feel like this is very unlikely to actually be sterling anyway. Oh, that's pretty. That's a stone. At first I thought it was ceramic, but it's totally not. This is like a, I think it's barrel faceting is what they call that. And it's like... Let me catch the light. It's like straight across, but curved a little bit. I don't know what that uh, stone is, except for probably a jasper of some sort. They have something called like a cherry blossom jasper. It kind of reminds me of that. So it could very well be that. I like that stone, and I like this bicone bead that they've matched with it. I'm not so big on this cord, but it's not terrible. Oh, well, is it coming apart? No, it just has strings stuck to it. Okay. Probably faux leather. Let me just unhook this thing. I don't know. I don't think it's fossilized necessarily. I'm thinking it's like a, like a plume kind of situation. Kind of like, um, oh my gosh, poinsettia stone? Or no, chrysanthemum. I always get those mixed up for some reason. Chrysanthemum stone has kind of that same similar thing going on. It doesn't look like fossils to me, though. But maybe. Maybe you're right. But I don't think so. Looks like a flowered jasper of some sort. It's really pretty, though. I'll do $8 on that one if anybody wants it. Otherwise, this is another one I'll set aside because I can maybe reuse that stone for something. But we'll say 8 That's kind of a sizable stone there. Put that aside for more. We still haven't found this one's friend, which is a bummer. You know what? I'm gonna. I have to like. I have to clean up too. Okay, whatever. I'll figure that out afterwards. We have what looks like a dyed stone in here, meant to look like turquoise, probably magnesite, in a cage. Oh, and a best friends forever necklace. Did you guys have these? Tell me you did. I agree. Oh, hey, Lori. Welcome in. Three Conquers European Horse Chestnut Tree. Is that is that actually a thing? So it's a chestnut, not a hazelnut. It actually has really pretty uh, like striations on the side of it. I had a ton of these growing up. If you go into my storage room this very moment, you will find a jewelry box from my youth that has about six at, at least of those in it. BFFs, my half, of course. There's some yin yang ones. There's, I think there's one that looks maybe similar to this, like a dog tag, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking that because it's in front of me. But man, I had a ton of these with my besties. All right, come on now. Let's put you back. Okay. All right, we've got some beaded things. Oh my god, her my god. Let me. Uh, sometimes if you just like start pulling eventually it fixes itself so I kind of think this is pretty but is it sellable eh. is it something I want to recreate eh. not so much we've got a football another football thing oh yes Claire's icing yes Claire's for sure BFF Jewelry's classic 90s Y2K Y2K kid attire totes. You know what? We'll have to do like a, I don't know if anybody that is here that also has a channel would be into doing this, but 
if you guys would want to do like a show and tell collaboration of like jewelry from our youth, that might be fun. All right, this one says, go Bucks. Go Bucks. Once again, I'm not into sports. Uh, I'm assuming that's Buccaneers. Is that short for Buccaneers? Um, not my taste. These lava, little lava stones are cool. Wait, that, is that even a lava stone? I have no idea. These are like, maybe they're just ceramic. I don't know. Not into it. All right, you. Darn, you're plastic. You had potential. Disney, it says, part of your world. It's a little mermaid thing. Part of that Wait, is it that world or your world? This says your, but I thought it said that. Does she say both? Now I'm like in my head singing it. That will be part of that world. Maybe it is your part of your world. <laughs> I don't know, but I do know that this is called a dingle hopper. Um, I had a friend who named her dog Snarf Black from The Little Mermaid. Which is like pretty obscure reference, but, and everyone, we just called him Snarf for short and everyone thought it was from like Thundercats or something, but no. Um, that's cool. I don't know. That's kind of grimy. Makes me like apprehensive to do anything with it resale wise. Cause like, eh. Disney jewelry, typically not the highest quality, although they do have some Disney, uh, like official TCP pieces that are like fine metals and stuff, but ooh, ooh, maybe not. These are glass. I, I thought they were rainbow or iridescent or something, but they are not. But they are kind of pretty, but they're also kind of beat up, so I don't know. Uh, uh, I guess I could wear them for Christmas, but I probably won't. All right, <laughs> to be honest. P. Puto Vida bracelets. Is this someone that does the, no, I don't think so. The wrap bracelets? I don't think so. Laura, yes, I grew up on conquer hunting. And you drill a hole through the middle Thread a shoestring through, and you have to break your opponent conquer first, and you win. Please don't eat. They're not edible. That makes sense. This definitely looks like a shoelace. What? I've never heard of that. I'm going to look that up. That's cool. That's got to be what that is then, right? That definitely has shoelace vibes. So you, what, you just, like, reach up and grab and try to break the other one's necklace? She's trying you have to break your opponent conquer first. Or do you hold it in your hand? You have to like grab the other one. And you're just trying to basically, you're basically trying to break this knot, right? I don't know. You know what I learned though recently is that ear pulling is a thing. Have you guys heard of that? You like tie, there's like two people that sit and face each other and their string is tied around their ear on this side. And then it goes to the same ear on the other person. And they sit facing each other. And then when they say go, they each pull apart. And the first person to like give up because it hurts so bad or break the string off the other person's ear wins. It looks horribly painful. Apparently it can get bloody sometime. It is nothing I would ever want to participate in. But I did find out that that's a sport. You're welcome. That is my favorite Disney movie song. Yes, solid movie. Had crayon red hair as a kid. Did you? Like, um... Oh, that's too bad that you hated it. Who was that? There was a singer. A female singer. I want to say Fiona Apple, but I don't think so. There was some female singer who had hair like that. That was like that red red. Not like orange. Like most redheads and you're like, but it's orange. That's probably a cuff. Was it Fiona Apple? Or... Shoot, I don't remember. 
I don't remember. Anyway, okay. Lots of these stringy things. Oh, there's a P. Is Do they all say P? They're the same letter? These ones do. Here's another one. Okay, maybe... Oh, wait. Yeah? That's got to be the same one that doesn't have the little thing on it. Though. And here's another one. I'm just going to look these up out of curiosity because why are there so many? Oh, no, these aren't the same. I can't tell. This one doesn't have a thing on it, though. Here's another one, though. I'm going to look this brand up, too. Just out of curiosity, because there's so many, and it's got a brand. So I might as well. Maybe I can line them up and sell them or something. I've been neglecting my eBay store, too. I've been selling things here and there, but I have not added anything. And that's a no-no if you're a reseller on eBay. Here's another one. What? Why? Why so many? Huh. Okay. Well, we'll look that up, too. Okay. Ooh. 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 Hmm. 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 At a glance. Looking good. A closer inspection. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I'm not a believer. But I want to be. What do you think? Is this sterling? I'm definitely going to test it at least. We've got an inlaid piece of something here. Does it look, it looks sterling, right? I don't know. I don't know. We'll check, we'll check, we'll check along with that little K one over there. <sighs> Dang it. I don't want to actually have to test anything today. I'll, I'll set this aside and then next video I'll bring the testing kit down too. And then anything else, we'll just test it all at that point in time. This also is looking kind of suspicious. I don't think it is. Well, no. It feels a little lightweight. I'm, uh, why not? Why not? When in doubt, definitely test it. Oh, this is another. I had a, a friendship thing that kind of looked like that guy, too. All right. Silicone ring, not impressive. Whatever this is, kind of cool, but not that impressive. They're meant to look like turquoise, but I think they're just plastic or glass or something. I kind of like that I like little design, though. All right. So far, you guys, kind of womp wompy. But we will, we will hold our breath. Oh, wait. What am I supposed to look up? I'm supposed to look up something. Looks, it totally does. I agree. We'll test it next time. That heart with the pink enamel is vintage Avon. Shoot. Heart with the pink enamel. Oh, this. The clip-on? Uh, I do not see Avon written on it. You very well may be right. It might be on the other earring if we have it. Uh, it excites me not because I have never sold a pair of clip-on earrings to anybody, I don't think. People don't like them. But we'll set it aside for that. Okay, let me look at... Oh, it goes with a brooch set. Okay. Okay, it might still, so look, this is how much we still have in the box. So enough for one more hangout and unboxing time. For now, I'm going to look up these guys really quick and we'll see. Let me go to the old Ebays. And so this may take a hot second only because I'm doing it from the iPad over there. Not from my phone, which I'm a little faster fingers on. But all right, this is, what was it, Debbie Brooks? Which I feel like I've heard that name before, but I've never seen these bracelets. Debbie Brooks bracelet. See, I think I've seen her purses before. Thin cuff bracelet with clear Swarovskis. Oh. What, how do we know that, though? I don't feel like that's a claim I can make. Um, I'm not seeing any that look quite like this. Oh, so she's got some like fancier ones that have some three dimensional elements to it. Looks like some 3D butterflies on that one. A dragonfly. These smaller ones looks like they're in the $20 range. Maybe. Which is still, I mean, the, if I could sell them. There's the, that pays for the lot right there, so that wouldn't be so bad. That's a smaller one than I have. Let me check solds really quick. 
do, 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 do. Here, you know what? Why am I doing this? Why don't we let's hang out together and check it out? I'm sorry about the light. We're just going to have to all deal with it. Those Green Bay Packers. That, that one looks kind of similar. That one's 16. See what I'm saying? This one's got like a butterfly on it. That one's got some pearls, flowers. And those ones are a bit more. So let's go to sold, apply. Let's see if these things actually sell. See, no, no matches. So I don't know. Unless I'm spelling her name wrong, but I don't think so. Debbie Brooks. I don't see any sales. Well, that's not very promising, is it? This is such a cute bracelet, though. I really like this one. Ooh, whoops. I mean, click on louisianacooking.com. Oh, that was these. Oh, my gosh. These things are amazing. It's a Bananas Foster's recipe that my sister-in-law loves these. So, you know, if you're looking for a good Bananas Foster's cupcake recipe, there you go. <laughs> I got that thing sitting on um, my thing here for like, I don't even know probably like a year. I haven't closed the tab because I'm, I keep losing that specific recipe because it's good. One. All right. That was fun. You guys are awesome. Let me go back to the stream and make sure I didn't miss anybody's messages. Boop, boop, boop. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll do it with it. Oh, it's got an E. Is that my problem? Oh, I was supposed to look at your link. Shoot. I didn't do that. Hold on, let me go back to this bracelet here. Where the signature good? No, this one doesn't have an E. Does this one have an E? No, I don't see an E. Is that the difference? Okay, maybe sell them together. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the way to go. We'll add them together and cross our fingers. I have so much stuff to list on eBay. We will add these to the eBay pile. If there's anything you see that you want, shoot me an email. Um, but seriously, you guys, I keep slamming my hands down on earrings poking up and that feels very not good. We'll go gentle. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I, I love your company. I truly do. Every time I like need to do a live, I have that moment beforehand where I'm just like, <sighs> but I could just go like sit down and crochet something. Should I really go live? Is anyone going to be there? Am I just going to be talking to myself? And then when we all show up, it just lights up my world. And I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. I hope you continue to hang out with me in the channel as I move slightly into a different direction. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, have an amazing holiday weekend, y'all. Whatever you're doing. I hope if you don't celebrate that you're enjoying the quiet time at home or, you know, the lack of traffic or maybe time off work because your employer lets you out early. And if you're spending it with family, I hope you have a lovely, lovely, lovely time with them. Hug your loved ones and just enjoy the moment. No matter what's going on, just enjoy something this upcoming week. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. Love to you all. Happy holidays. Happy New Year, all the things. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.